Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and that's debatable. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. It's Monday, November something, I think. Or is it December? It's been a crazy day already. I just opened the store a few minutes early, and um, that's not the crazy part. Blaine had to take Mom in to do blood work, and I'll have to say a few things. For those who have been with me for a while, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, she didn't go to her regular lab. She went to one, like, in the big city of Meadville. And evidently, I'm trying to get you a fun background here. We'll do this. Evidently, they wanted her to don the costume. Cher was in a movie, I think, and it was called this. You know what I mean, the costume. And she said, if I have to wear a costume, I'm going to throw up. So, of course, because they're very concerned about the health of a 95-year-old, she was forced to wear a costume, and she threw up. It's a shame she didn't hit them, but she took one of their trash cans. So now she's ill. You know, it just made her sick. So Aunt Liz is... My brother has to leave town. He has some obligation with whatever, as people do. And um, Aunt Liz, thank God, is here, and he's going to retrieve her and bring her over to be with Mom. And, of course, if anything happens, I can leave here. I'm sure Amy would be okay if I closed the store in case of emergency. So, um, yeah, that's the morning. And it just it makes me uh, livid. The whole thing makes me livid that this would happen. Because I asked her, and Blaine confirmed. Everything was okay until you got in there. I mean, they had to get up at the crack of dawn, like 6, to leave by 6.30. And I told her to sleep in her clothes. I really did. And she did it. Yeah. I've done that myself. If I have to get up super early, just wear your clothes. I did not do it today. I'm in a back brace, too. I look like an 80s. Um, Blaine keeps teasing me, saying I look like the 90s or 80s, or whatever decade that was, where, you know, kind of wide belts and all that. So um, I'm having a hot flash. Hang on. So I'm in a T-shirt and camisole and a long skirt. I'll show you. Yeah, so at any rate, I confirmed with Blaine that she was totally fine, other than having to get up, you know, early or whatever. Wasn't nauseous, wasn't whatever, so, yeah. And now she really, you know, needs to have her breakfast, and it's hard to keep things down, whatever, but Aunt Liz is quite familiar with the medical paradigm and whatnot, so she will um, help Mother through this. Thank God. Thank God for Aunt Liz, really, because she also made a delightful turkey dinner yesterday. Uh, stuffing turkey, mashed potatoes, four perpetual, and, of course, all of us, but for his hunting excursion or whatever. So that's it. Um, thank God Amy had a good weekend, and so I have a lot of paperwork or a lot of bookkeeping to do. <laughs> I like to, you know, say that because, you know, I would be lousy at keeping books. So it's just going through and checking off what was sold in the inventory book, matching it up with the receipts kind of deal, you know, marking through what was sold. So, yeah, that's the big book work or whatever I just said. Okay. I'll show you me, and yeah, I do look kind of 80s or 90s, I think, let me, it's sort of funny, but I have to wear it, it's, my back's killing me, and then I had to help mom out of a chair, and I just figured, screw it, I'm helping her, there it is, there I am, see, I couldn't find my original back brace, so I'm wearing this one, it was, I gave it to mom, and it was still in the box, so, anyhow, yeah, and this shirt I got, of course, now and again, gift shop and boutique, and it goes with that sweater. I don't want to be, um... Yeah, ouch! See? It grabs me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying not to go around saying, Oh, my back's killing me. But it'll just... Just grab me. That's what it's doing. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and by the way, we had total snow. Thank God, again, for Mother and her vehicle. Because... Maybe I should pause. Because, um... I'm using it, and Joel, thank God for Joel, because I'm trying to say what I'm grateful for, or for which I'm grateful, for what I'm grateful, every day. So, uh, Perpetual's taking care of the long years this morning, and um, Mother's car that I'm in got to be parked in her garage, so I didn't have to clear snow off. And Adno's just gently yet effectively waiting in the turnaround for her day in the sun. Um, yeah, so that was good, but I'm not really used to driving that car in the winter. It's that heavy snow, and then, of course, when I got here, the whole back wasn't plowed or anything. It's just 
So I took a shovel, which you really shouldn't shovel when you have a bad back or a vacuum, but I'm going to do both. What can I do? Stop my life over the bad back? Yeah, I should. No, I'm kidding. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, um, the costume thing's gone mad. I thought those were going to end anyway with this miracle thing that's allegedly a miracle. I think you know what I mean. All right, um, I'm signing off. Boy, it looks cute in here. I'm just now noticing. Here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please drop your political identities. Focus on issues like the major one we're having now. Um, leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. And I think that's all. I don't think I'm going to blow V8 anymore after that. Oh, this feels good. I'm going to sit down and do that book work. Bye.